Welcome back to Wildlife Wednesday. Today, I'm asking for your help to keep wildlife wild this spring. It's that time of year, we're finding baby animals, especially baby birds, all over the place. And when we think an animal is orphaned, of course, it's our instinct to be worried. A human infant would never be left alone in the middle of a forest or a field, but these are not humans, they're wild animals. And animals raise their young very differently than us. It's so important to remember that when we intervene in these kinds of situations, we almost always end up doing more harm than good. If you find a bird with no feathers and closed eyes, you have found a nestling or a hatchling that probably fell out of the nest or was taken from the nest by a predator. Now this bird cannot survive on its own. Your absolute best option is to put on some gloves and place that bird back in the nest if you can find it. The parents will not care that you touched it. If you can't find the nest, you can place the baby bird in some shrubs or bushes where it has some protection and the parents can find it if they're still around. You could even make a makeshift nest out of a basket and tie it up in a tree. Bringing it into your home or a rehab center is not usually the best option. It's very unlikely this bird would survive in your care. And while it's hard to think about, baby birds are an important food source for other animals that are trying to survive this spring. So if you find a bird with some feathers and open eyes hopping around your yard, you have found a fledgling. This bird does not need your help. Birds jump out of the nest before they can fully fly and they learn to fly from the ground up. The parents will continue to care for these birds until they're fully mature. So it's best to leave those birds where you found them. If you scoop them up and bring them in your house or bring them to us, not only is it stressful for that bird, but for the parents. Now we get lots of calls of people worried about how vulnerable the fledglings are on the ground. And while that's true, the parents are still there protecting them and they can flutter enough to evade most predators. You can help by keeping your pets inside until these birds can fully fly and talking to your neighbors about keeping their cats indoors. If you do find an animal that you think is injured or does need help, stop and gather more information before you intervene. As I tell students here at Montana Wild, put on your wildlife biologist hat, do some research, call your local FWP office, or call us here at Montana Wild. By taking the time to think before you intervene, you can help us to keep wildlife wild.